Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here again. Alright, so I'm going to do take two of the painting that I just tried to do. Again, we have quinacridone magenta, cadmium yellow light hue, cerulean blue hue, all Liquitex basics, and we have artist loft white. I'm using uh, this crystal clear cup because it seems to do a really good job of releasing the most paint. I'm going to put a little bit of this uh, blaster silicone in the cup to get it to release as much as possible. You want to shake it up really well. It's not just silicone in there. You need to make sure it is evenly dispersed with the other chemical agents. Do not spray near your canvas. All right, I'm gonna wipe out the excess. You just kind of want a light coating. Okay. I'm gonna start with white. So this is a 12 by 12 canvas. Um, ideally that would be um, five ounces of paint to cover. Just a spot of white to give some separation so that you don't wind up with tertiary colors, which equals mud. I'm sure everyone knows this, but a tertiary color is all three of your primaries mixed together. You can see I have nice layers there, a little bit more, this magenta came out very bright in the last painting. Okay, there is a bit of coconut milk in each color, but not in the white. And I need to mix up some more white. Okay, mixed up some more white here. And I'm gonna lay down a layer. to give my pour a surface, a wet surface to slide around on. My handy spreader tool. Oh, I did something dark on it there. My scraper is contaminated. I'm not really planning on negative space, so I'm not freaking out about the dark color in my white. May wind up with negative space. Let's see. I like having the option, so it's a good reason to always lay down a base coat. Oh, 
Uh, you should note that if you lay down a base coat of black, your dark, your colors will come out much more muted than if you use white underneath, depending on the effect you're going for. When you use this tool, you can just kind of roll it on the edge and it eliminates those bald edges that we can all relate to getting. So here we go. Nice, nice blue tail. Where was the blue? <laughs> oh, you dirty rat. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, this is a very interesting pattern. And this is really cool here. I kind of want to get the maximum stretch out of those, so very slowly tilt until it grabs the edge. Can get rid of that tail. Bye bye, annoying tail. For those yelling, stop right there. I cannot. There's too much paint on this canvas. All right. I'm going to take the weight back to the center. Let's bring it back in. Well, I can't leave it like this because it looks like a mammogram. <laughs> I 
Okay. Uh, I don't want to lose those cells. When you're tilting, you kind of want to watch your lines. You don't want them to get squiggly, unless that's the look you're going for, which I am not at the moment. I want these fingers or whatever they might be to keep their shape. Very strange looking. Kind of be, seem to be the theme for the day. Let me wash my hands and I will take you in for a close up. Yes, before I take you in for a close up, I can show you how I clean the bottoms. I just take this little spatula and just scrape it along and it helps get drips off of your painting. So this was the pour that I did earlier. Same technique, same colors, completely different result, I guess. So thank you everyone for watching. Thank you to all who have subscribed and taking me to the thousand subscriber limit overnight. <laughs> and I guess that's it for now. Go out there and make some art.